this episode it's the second episode after uh, Liam is born uh, <laughs> you also say hi Liam say hi uh-huh the last video we just started talking about how the things are changed how everything start working but now we actually learned somehow how to take care of him how to make the routine right and still learning a lot of yes because uh, it's not like we will learn and he will be behaving like this all the time <laughs> so each time we are seeing yeah. he is learning new things <laughs> he started to make new sounds uh, Ola is really trying to make him talk Appa <laughs> which means daddy uh, in my language in Malayalam we call Appa uh, for daddy so uh, she really wanted to make him say that word because then he will be start crying only with my name but I'm trying to make him say mama will be easier so he will be like a mama boy I can be do my things <laughs> William is sleeping. He has his pacifier on his chest. <laughs> he's tired of biting it. And his umbrella is on top. It's really helping for the sunny day. He's well set. He has everything in his bag. Spawns. <laughs> Water. Even we have something what we don't need. What you have? <laughs> Clothes, for example, <laughs> for changing him. Okay. Yeah, but most of the, but most of the times his walking is helping us because he's just falling asleep like in two three minutes. Even at home, he was kind of crying. He has some kind of difficulties for sleeping, but outside with the fresh air, uh, um, he's sleeping mostly. And it's Sunday, so there are less cars outside, less noise, less people. It's really helping him for sleeping. In India, uh, mostly, uh, we are holding kids on hand. Like if you go outside, if you're going for shopping, if you go walk with the kid, uh, mostly kid will be in your hand. Like you are holding the kid. Uh, but rarely I saw uh, some people who were using the special bag for baby. Mm -hmm. But also, not recommended there, like people scared. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, but the bag it's itself, people are so scared to even have in bag, like uh, back pain or something. But whatever, leave it. There's no special equipment like stroller or these things, even the car seats. In India, we are not even using car seats. So how they are? They are just holding the baby to hand and just sitting. I can't imagine take just, just take baby from hospital, like it's not small. You can imagine like he was so small and you were holding him on hands. That's true. Even for me, when I was in India, I was living there. It was just normal for me. You know, things like that. Even you are discharging from the hospital and you are going home, uh, you will be taking the baby to your hand, like really closer to you, and you will be going by car. So this is the most thing what what is practicing in India from a long time. I don't know. Maybe in multi specialty hospital or some really big shots, they will have discharges and things like that. But here. Uh, if you wanted to discharge from the hospital and go outside to your car, you have to have seat. I mean, special seat for a baby. Even if you don't have a car and if you're going home, you have to have a car seat at least. This is like, um, it's a law, right? Yeah, like, yeah, it's a law. It's uh, if police will uh, stop you, like for just uh, come on control mm -hmm. uh, for checkup. Uh, if a kid will be on your hands, will not be in uh, the special car seat, you will get this uh, oh, Money penalty? Yeah. So you have to pay about, I think, 500 zloty, right? I think so. Yeah, around. I don't know because I never get. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but it's around 100 euros. So it's not a simple way. I mean, it's not uh, so simple uh, to pay 100 uh, euros just to having holding your baby in your hand, if even if you're going by a taxi. Actually, the taxi driver shouldn't allow you to go inside with a mm -hmm. uh, baby seat. And it also depends on the weight of the baby. Uh, from this weight, 
till this weight, the baby can have this seat and then it will yeah, be changing. It's not about age, mm -hmm. it's not about which month or week, no, it's yeah. about, uh, kilograms because, uh, you know, like in the same uh, age, uh, kids can be different uh, weight. weights. Yeah, that's true. But mostly, uh, you know, maybe in another country they are practicing with the car seat, but I'm saying about India because also the speed, driving speed is in India is so different. Maybe here is you can try 100, 100, you know, but in India, uh, mostly crowd cities, yes, we are going 40, 60 kilometers per hour, yes, mm -hmm. it's not so fast, but even though uh, we are not using the car seats, this thing I wanted to tell you, but also about the stroller. Uh, but now in some cities, they made a special um, way for walking or special way for cycling and everything. But if you buy a stroller and you are living not in the place like uh, the special way for uh, cycle or for walking, you will be fucked up. Like uh, you will not have the place to walk with the stroller. How are you going to supposed to go by the road? No, it's so difficult. Uh, I'm just comparing the, how to take care of baby in India and how we are taking care of a mixed one in the Polish baby in Poland. <laughs> yes, I'm bringing some ideas from India, how uh, we are practicing from long years, I mean long time. And she's bringing ideas from uh, how people are taking care of babies in Poland. So we are mixing up the both and we are choosing what is good for him. <laughs> I mean, and for us. Yeah, and for us. We are trying, not even choosing, we are trying to do because we don't know what is really helping for us. So. Okay, the other thing I'm saying about uh, the cosmetics, what we are using. Um, I would say about house in India, uh, after pregnancy. Uh, maybe you never even heard about that because in India, after pregnancy. I'm not saying about the whole India uh, thing because in each place it would be different. I'm saying about how we are doing things in Kerala. Um, uh, after pregnancy, the mom will have some special, uh, let's say, kind of treatment mm, after the pregnancy like taking rest yeah taking rest is really um yeah you, you, you're always hearing yes <laughs> but, <laughs> like oh you have to take care it's good because she should take rest like okay this i understand but some things like you can you imagine they are giving a bath for you uh like in a boiled water not exactly boiled water but not even warm water you will get a bath with hot water like really hot water. Not sure, like it's good for her head. <laughs> but it's saying it will be really helping for your back pain because after your pregnancy, you will have back pain. And if you will be uh, taking bath in this much hot water, this back pain will be gone forever. No. <laughs> it's kind of belief. Okay, about back pain. Okay, but how about uh, their uh, uterus, what is all the time shrinking? It's still the same, like after delivery, it's uh, still kind of the same size, uh, like during pregnancy. Baby is out, but your mm -hmm. uterus is not like, Straight. you know. Yes, that's true. But uh, here, what I see from Ola, it's like from hospital, the nurse was trying to help her with giving her bath and showed her how to uh, take care of the uh, this urinary tube and everything, how to hold it, uh, how to take baths like in a good way and everything. She learned and she done this alone and at home I was helping her also and uh, it wasn't too much like I have seen in some Instagram videos about in India some ladies are saying like this is the worst thing ever. I never forgot about this hot water, uh, how they put this on me. But some ladies, they were saying like, oh, that was the best thing. Uh, like, it's really helped me. That's the reason why I don't have any back pains. But I don't know how it's worked for uh, different ladies. <laughs> but, you know, I just wanted to tell you, like, this is how they're taking care of uh, mom. And we'll be giving you a lot of Ayurvedic syrup. Oh. <laughs> which will you will get more iron more proteins for baby you know like you're feeding here yes so with <laughs> it good but... <laughs> some soup with uh, mutton soup is also really good okay uh, like i can understand someone can like it mm -hmm. because if, uh, but you will be treated as a queen <laughs> you, you know like uh, for example this uh, tea uh, Mint tea. Mm -hmm. I hate it. And here, uh, a lot of people using this when you feel like you want to vomit and like this. 
mm-hmm. and they are drinking i feel like after this tea i want to vomit mm-hmm. you know <laughs> but many people like it so i can understand like some uh, uh, people like girls they like this arvedic stuff mm. it's not like all oh, it's the worst no it's the worst for me okay okay and <laughs> for someone it could be, be tasty let's talk about the cosmetics for the baby in india we are usually giving bath for babies in warm water mm-hmm. there will be some special ladies uh, who will be coming home of course you have to pay for it because mm, your mom or your grandmom is not uh, good with giving baby shower first time yes like a bath to the baby first time so you are hiring some person from outside mm-hmm. they are really specialized for giving bath taking care of mom and we are paying good so for example it will be like from morning till night mm-hmm. or yeah like some evening. some ladies are staying at home and taking care of them and some ladies they are just coming taking care of baby giving bath and everything and they are going back mm-hmm. they will be giving some special strange massage to the body ah, for okay. I mean baby yeah, with oil taking out his eyes taking out his ears <laughs> excusing him <laughs> no it's, it's practicing this from long time so uh, if someone will say like oh come on it's not good for baby come on we do this from long times yeah, you don't know anything it's wor- it was working before so now it's also working no it's <laughs> things not have like changed that. yeah after that there is the procedure like taking the baby inside uh, you will be start putting him uh, powder baby powder the stacon powder i'm saying about the stacon mm-hmm. powder yeah uh, and the funny thing is you will be putting this in everywhere uh, with some special sponge even if it's a girl or boy uh, in india there is kind of practicing like uh, they will be writing their eyebrows eyeliner <laughs> and uh, will be something on here to not get any evil eye <laughs> and uh, not to spread this to their faces and everything they are also putting the powder on their faces here is kind of totally opposite like if uh, like less means better more natural natural uh, means better if some cosmetics has uh, less ingredients this is the best cosmetic for me i see only we are using for him this almond oil <laughs> because we are using and uh, yeah. i feel like this is the best uh, this almond oil is not like uh, Oh, only almond oil use only almond oil. Mm-hmm. no that's why we uh, we try this in hospital mm-hmm. because he could have allergy like mm-hmm. for everything for coconut oil also uh, so we tried this uh, in hospital mm-hmm. when uh, he was uh, like they were taking care of me and baby and I asked uh, this nurse like do you think like there is some allergy she said no so we are using it's going to be rain it was really sunny till now and it's going to be sunny so let's go let's go home and uh, we will show you the good really helping stuff that we are using for him diaper changing time na 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 oh mama ola is changing and actually this thing is really helping uh, we can put him here so this is kind of waterproof but we are keeping a paper on the top just you know it's uh, disposable like you can trash it after few use is really helping and there's an organizer we are keeping here here is bed wipes here is his diapers this is also good like you can give more things like oil mans or um, i don't know many things you can give it nice drop boy oh nice drop boy happy 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 so he changed he's good good to go and here should be kept his bed his mattress with this you know you can wrap him things for watching for him <laughs> oh there's another thing uh, when he's sleeping Hello. we can monitor him from uh, another room uh, we are keeping camera here uh, it's really helping because with the movements you will see if he will wake up or something even with the sound you can talk to the baby it's also kind of helpful he's watching us now Hey, Liam. Liam. Aha. Uh-huh. She's singing song in Malayalam. 
Uh, and also in India, uh, we, are, we are not uh, keeping separate bed like to uh, keep the baby there. But not everyone, but most of the people, they are keeping baby between them. Mm -hmm. I mean, dad is here, uh, mom is here, and, and the middle will be baby. Or dad will be sleeping separate and uh, the baby will be near mom. Like because so that she can feed him so fast, like if he will wake up or more, she will know. Mm -hmm. But uh, here is kind of practice like uh, you are always keeping a baby separate because most of the people when they are sleeping, they don't know what they are doing. Maybe they put the leg on the baby or yeah, you know. This is like, scary. This is scary. So this is really good thing that we are, for me, it was really sad like we are keeping him separate at the beginning. But you know, then I understand it's really good for him also. He has his own things, yes. And even he, for now, when he wake up, he's always watching his thing, this one. And uh, he's kind of, okay, sometimes he's sleeping after watching this thing. So. I still remember uh, first month mm -hmm. when I was like, you know, too much time, I wake up too much time at night for feeding him. Uh, I was so tired and even I didn't know when I'm putting him back to bed when I'm sleeping and I again wake up so many times uh, he was crying in like for uh, food in bed his bed mm -hmm. and I wake up and I was thinking like where he is like I <laughs> I was feeding him and I slept <laughs> and he's somewhere here like in this funny videos from TikTok what you are watching <laughs> Yeah, it's, things can be like that uh, happen. Uh, and also, uh, she really arranged uh, good for all his stuff. We have like a special place for him only to keep only his stuff. Like, for example, I would say, um, um, oh, like his clothes, everything, and his towels, um, the diapers, things like that. Sanitizer for toys, toy sanitizer. Toy sanitizer. I think this will be also helping in future. He will throw something to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, things like this, like uh, his grooming stuffs, wiping, nail cutters, but these things is like common to everyone. Like everyone even knows. So this is nothing from here. It's like uh, his socks, things like that. Some towels which will be really helpful to wipe his face or when, he, when giving him a bath this kind of towels is really helping to wipe him with the soap I'm saying. Mm, it's like normal uh, towels like uh, cotton towels to wipe him. It's his towels. I bought this chair I was talking about before. Uh, it's kind of really good for uh, the gastric. Some of the other apps they are saying it's not recommended for uh, keeping them long but for somehow for some time uh, this is okay like uh, it's helping to uh, kick the baby's uh, gas out because some there were some exercises like oh you have to excuse his legs and then it will be uh, the gas will be just gone but we tried many nothing was helping with uh, with Liam so this one was really helping for us so anyways with more tips uh, see you soon bye for now Bye, Liam, say bye. No, oh, he's in another world. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> nice draw, yeah?